welcome back to St. Teresa News. I'm your host, like always, even though I don't really have to remind you, we, on, we only do it just because for new viewers who are watching St. Teresa News, Charles, and this is my co-host, Grace. Hello, everyone. I'm Grace. So, we hope that you had a great weekend. It's only two days, though. Hello, darkness, my friend. Anyway, um, welcome to the first week of December. Play the Christmas tree. And most importantly, not Christmas, we have our Advent celebration coming up. Um, stuff. Um, we're preparing for the birth of Jesus, so stay, stay, stay tuned for details. Thanks, Charles. Now let's get started with the news. Now it's time for weather. Take it away, Avery. Brr, it's cold out here. My glasses are fogging up. <sighs> oh yeah, back to the weather. Hi guys, it's me, Avery, your weather announcer. And it looks like it's supposed to be snowing on Tuesday and Wednesday, so make sure to wear your winter jacket and your snow pants if needed, and your mittens, and your toque. And the sidewalks are supposed to be looking like they're gonna be icy, so be careful. And yeah, bye guys. Back to you, Charles and Grace. Uh, thanks, Avery. Now, uh, let's keep on going with our segments and going to our sports. Announcer, Brayden. 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 <laughs> I, I can't. I, okay. Anyway, along with that, we have our sports updates. Today, we have um, our second segment of Between um, Two Noodles, uh, Mrs. Morrow and Alina. And they're also going to be talking about the big crunch and the winners. Take it away! Hi guys, it's the sports announcer, Brayden. This week we're still doing gymnastics. Now we have an interview with Alina in grade 5 about she stays active after school. Welcome to our second edition of Between Two Noodles. Today I have Alina from grade 5. And we're asking her, Alina, how do you get your 60 minutes a day of physical activity? Ringette. You play ringette? Yes. How often are you playing ringette? Twice a week. Probably. Twice a week. And I heard you brought some items for us to see. Yes. Awesome. Can you show the, the audience, please? I got one of my ringette jerseys. I work for practices. Um, I got some pictures from, this is from NASA, this is this here, my team. Mm -hmm. What's the name of your team, Alina? We don't usually have a team, it's just Red Deer Rush. Red Deer Rush. And this is the new logo on my shirt. Awesome. That looks so much money. Why do you like playing on a team? Um, because so then I could get some more exercise and it's just fun with all people it's instead of just me. Awesome. Other friends. Do you have friends on your team? Yes. Mm. Okay. What's one thing you would say that you enjoy the most about playing ringette? Mm. I think just skating and having fun. And you brought some other items with you, yes. I can see. We can show our viewers. This is a bandana I wear on the ice so that my hair will not get stuck in my um, and I got some of my medals. That's a lot of medals. Wow. I think these two are my first ever ones. These ones. So these are pretty special to you, aren't they? Yeah. That's excellent. Look at how many you have. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're a decorated athlete. Great job. And then I have my hat. Hashtag ring it. Well, hashtag ring it to our viewers. Stay active. And thank you, Alina, for joining us. Till next time, keep fit, be outside, because that's a trademark, and I can't say all of it. Thanks, Alina. Miss Morrow, do you want to be a goalie someday? That's all we have for today, guys. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot. Alina is going to tell us about the big crunch. Hello, I'm Lily Luku, and I'm going to be announcing the Big Crunch Lunch People, who won. Um, and the winners are, give me a drum roll, please. 5B. Yay! For everyone.
everyone who participated in our big crunch lunch. Hope you keep on crunching your big crunch lunch. Um, congratulations, 5B. Uh, hope you enjoy your frizzed with Miss Morrow. Yeah. Now uh, we have our first week of Advent. December 1st is the first Sunday of Advent. So on Wednesday, um, December 4th, we're going to have um, our Advent celebration at Sacred Heart. Uh, we have we'll have a uh, um, our priest. We'll have uh, our school uh, praying to God, and we'll also have our altar servers. I'm just saying, everybody's welcome to join. Charles, you forgot to say it's at nine thirty. Oh yeah. Anyway, uh, do you have any more questions? Oh, what's an altar server? Well, they help the priest, uh, so like carry the Bible or like the Word of God, and they also um like do the ringing, ding ding, ding ding, and when the mass starts and stuff, you know. And on Friday we have our first annual Christmas uh, winter, not Christmas. That's weird. Winter carnival, depending on the weather, of course. If it is too cold, um, we'll have to reschedule it. I just hope we don't have to. What is a winter carnival? Well, um, says here. Let me see. Um, it says classes will be pairing up with their spirit buddies. Um, yeah. So like the little kids in grade one, mine's Lucas. Um, and we'll be tra traveling through a variety of fun winter carnival activities. These activities will encourage winter physical activity, sport, and froster school spirit. And how long will it be? Like, will it be a walk around the, like, all the houses? Well, um, it's not the winter walk, but... Um, we're going to do activities outside for one hour straight. <laughs> like, what kind of are we gonna like? Like, uh, uh, we're allowed to paint snow, which is gonna be fun, and we also got to go snowshoeing. Anyway, um, uh, it says uh, what do you call it? that's it. It just says that's it. So mm -hmm. remember they to like the bath for others. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.